Hey guys, this is Jump Jumonline.ph and welcome back to my channel. And today we got here the latest 5G smartphone from Motorola, the Moto G50 5G. So this is one of the most affordable 5G smartphones right now in the market. And uh, we got here the Dimensity 700 5G chipset, which is known to be the affordable 5G chips in the market. And we also got here a 6.5-inch max vision display with 90 hertz refresh rate. We also got here a 48 megapixel triple camera system. And we got here the variant with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Now you know the basic specifications. Now let's check out the unboxing and hands-on of this one. Before we proceed to our videos, I want to share with you the SMOS online app in where you can check out the latest laptops, gadgets, and gizmos from trusted mall brands from CyberZone including PowerMax Center, Silicon Valley, and more. And with the SMOS online app, you're guaranteed that you'll get the lowest prices for these awesome products including the popular Acer Predator Helios 300 that you can get for only 60,133 pesos and the Huawei MateBook G15 2021 for only 44,988 pesos. The best part is you don't have to worry about the warranty of these products that you are buying at the SMOS online app because it will have the same warranty just like the products that you are buying at the mall. So if you want to check it out, you can download the SMOS online app at the Google Play Store and at the Apple App Store. And of course, be sure to use this voucher code SMGOESONLINE so you can get 200 pesos off on your first delivery order. You can also use the voucher 2 or more so you can get free shipping from 2 or more brands with a minimum spend of 750 pesos. And yes! It's awesome because you don't need to leave your house anymore just to buy products from trusted mall brands from SM CyberZone. Now, back to our video. Alright, it's nice that the smartphone already comes with the case out of the box. So we got here the jelly case on the smartphone. Here we go, some jelly case. The smartphone does come with a really thick build. Later on, we're going to talk about the smartphone. We also got here the 20 watts charger on the smartphone, a USB-C to USB-A cable, and we still got the earphones on this one. Of course, we got here the manual and the pin for the card tray. Now you know what's inside the smartphone. Now let's talk about the Moto G50 5G. So let's talk about the Moto G50 5G. First, we got here the 6.5 inch HD plus display. It comes with a fairly generic design and the 6.5 inch isn't bad enough for gaming or watching videos and we also got here a 90 hertz refresh rate that's why navigating on the smartphone is smoother than ever i actually like their choice of using an hd plus resolution on the moto g55 g why because this means that the smartphone would have a longer battery life not only that the smartphone also comes with a 5000 milliamp hours of battery that's why it's pretty thick. So as you can see right now, the smartphone is kind of thick compared to most smartphones. We got here the flat sides. And uh, despite that, the smartphone is still light. And I still think that it's still a little bit ergonomic to me as long as you use the jelly case on the smartphone. Not just to protect, but to also have a better grip on the Moto G50 5G. On the right side, we got here the power button, the volume rocker, and we got here a really special button this is the google assistant button so once you press it you can now use the google assistant voice command is really useful so if you have a smart home you would definitely love the google assistant on this one what's the weather for today i know google assistant is really useful for asking weather and some questions and even mathematical stuff Below the smartphone, we also got here the USB-C port and also the headphone jack. The smartphone does support 15 watts of charging which is a little bit slow for compared to other smartphones but considering its price, well, it isn't that bad. At the back, we can see here the triple lens camera setup of the smartphone. We also got here the glossy 
back look and I think that the look of this one is premium and the Motorola logo is placed nicely in the center and thankfully the fingerprint sensor is also the home button or the power button of the smartphone which means that we got here a cleaner look at the back of the Moto G 55G. And compared to most smartphones these days, the Moto G 55G packs a thinner camera module. Maybe because of the chassis of the smartphone, I mean it's already thick. So they already have a lot of space for the sensor and other camera parts of the smartphone. Now, let's go back to the display of the Moto G 55G. So as you can see in here, we got here the 6.5 inch HD plus display. It's a 90 hertz refresh rate. We also got here the notch at the top, noticeable bezels on the side, and another noticeable chin below. Not really complaining, but yes, I really noticed that one after I hold the smartphone after I turn it on. Now, let's talk about the software of the smartphone. So we got here the Moto G 55G. So as you can see in here, we got here the 6.5 inch display. Swiping on the right from the home screen will give you, of course, the cards for Google. And yes, we use this navigational just in case you're asking. And then of course, we got here the app drawer. And as you can see on this one, there are only a few applications that comes pre-installed on the smartphone. Thankfully, I actually like that uh, they use only a few smartphone apps on this one so there will be less footprint and everything on the smartphone but as you can see the pre-installed applications are mostly Google applications you can see in here Google 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 almost everything is Google on this one so I really appreciate that one as I prefer Google apps compared to other third-party applications uh, for the smartphone so the home screen is really smooth thanks to the 90 hertz refresh rate as you can see in here we got here the moto app the duo photos and here we got here the different google applications we also got here the interactive wallpapers and these are some cool abstract wallpapers and i actually like um the selection for this one so for the notification as you can see in here it's like a pixel there's only a few customizations on this one it's fast it is smooth and navigating on this one is really cool as for the software the smartphone is running at android 11 as you can see in here which is the latest version that you can get right now and uh i'm fairly happy with the software of the smartphone now let's talk about the camera so for the camera application as you can see in here it's fairly simple i actually like the ui for this one we got here uh, the choices for the macro sensor or the uh, main sensor of the smartphone unfortunately there's no ultra wide on the moto g 55g for videos as you can see in here it's also simple in here uh, going here, we can see in here the different shooting modes on the smartphone. We got the cut out, cinema graph, ultra res mode, portrait, group selfie, pro mode, and a lot more. This is a really nice feature as some people would prefer having a lot of features for their camera. So yeah, it's a welcome feature for the Moto G 55G. Now you're probably curious, how about the quality that we got on the camera of the smartphone? Now check out, the, now check out some of the shots that we took using the G, Motorola G 55G. As you have seen in our shots using the Moto G 55G, well, it's not the best camera that we have seen. Yes, it can do the job, but it's not the best one that you have seen. It's not that bad, but it's not that good either. So I, I think it's in the average level when it comes to the camera of the smartphone. And as for me, well, I'm pretty happy with this one. I mean, we got your large battery. HD Plus display is a welcome addition for me, considering that a lot of 5G smartphones are really demanding when it comes to battery. So yes, I like the HD Plus display on this one to have a longer battery life on the smartphone. And what I like about this one is that we got your 90 Hertz refresh rate and the software of this one is really like vanilla and uh, it's speedy. There are only a few applications that comes with the smartphone and everything was really smooth when running apps on the smartphone. Another cool addition for me on the Moto G55G is the uh, 
special or the dedicated Google Assistant button on this one. I've used uh, the Google Assistant button a lot of times here in my home. I use a lot of smart products. So it's really cool that they have a Google Assistant on this one. For some people, they would love this one for controlling music, opening applications like Spotify. So yeah, I really like that feature on the Moto G 55G. So overall, the smartphone is really cool. It's priced at 10,490 pesos. You can pre-order it right now as of this recording. And for its price, well, it has a lot of competitors. We got here the Realme 8 5G, the Redmi Note 10 5G, and then we got here this smartphone. Well, it's only there are only a few selections for 5G smartphones. And if you're looking for an affordable one, you might want to choose between those three. But this one comes with some cool features like the vanilla software of the smartphone, the Google Assistant button, and uh, the large battery inside, which is a 5,000 mAh of battery with an HD Plus resolution. So I guess that's it for our first impressions of the Moto G 55G. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jump, jumponline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in my next video.